Welcome to Home TV. I'm Tracy Prees and here's today's news from home. The OPP are conducting an investigation on Nishinaabe Aske Police Service after a video started circulating on social media of a NAPS police officer appearing to strike a man and throw him down to the ground in Slate Falls First Nation. The victim is 24-year-old James Masakiyash and the video was taken by his girlfriend and subsequently shared with the media in Thunder Bay. The incident took place on August 30th and the initial call to the house was to give Masakeyash a ride home from a friend's place after a night of drinking. The video shows Masakeyash being escorted out of the house by the officer, falling to the ground with his pants around his ankles and later being struck and thrown down to the ground by the officer. The victim's girlfriend contacted Knapps and the Slate Falls Chief and Council requesting the officer be removed from the community. He has been removed and is currently on administrative duties. The family is cooperating with the OPP as they investigate. Ontario's Education Minister Stephen Lecce is directing Ontario schools from grades K-12 to to celebrate and memorialize the life of the late Queen, including holding a moment of silence on the day of her funeral. The York Region District School Board in Toronto is encouraging a more low-key approach with their schools, having dispersed a tip sheet to administrators with suggested guidelines. The document states, quote, monarchies are steeped in problematic histories of colonialism which connect with ongoing present-day oppression of individuals and groups, unquote. Some tips included refraining from developing tributes and memorial activities and not playing God Save the Queen during announcements or memorial events. This memo and tip sheet was dispersed within its school board before the Ontario government unveiled its plans for Monday. The school board is now in receipt of Lecce's instructions and the spokesperson for the board says they will do as required. Dryden OPP made an arrest Wednesday following another bear spray attack. On Monday the 12th, officers attended a business on Government Street in Dryden after receiving a call that someone walked into the business and sprayed three people with bear spray. A 29-year-old female from Calgary was arrested and charged with causing a disturbance and assault with a weapon. She is scheduled for Dryden Court on October 17th. The Superior International Junior Hockey League, or SIJHL, is showcasing preseason games this weekend with the Dryden Ice Dogs and Red Lake Miners in the spotlight at the Kenora Rec Centre at 7 p.m. Friday and Saturday. These are fundraising games with the proceeds going to triple play and the athletic programming at Kenora's high schools. Tickets are available throughout town and also at the Rec Centre. We got ours. See you at the game. This is your Home TV News Update. I'm Tracy Preece. Have a great weekend.